it's also like uh, impressive how how much more damage it does in legacy than in like um, modern, where it's not really like hard at all. <laughs> so just the, uh, the the lands in legacy are so so much more powerful. Yeah, I can imagine. I guess we should just um, might as well just jump right in. We'll have plenty of time to talk about the deck as we play games. I see you're doing very well this season. Tied for third. Yeah, I've been uh, been having some luck. Uh, I ran into a rough patch lately, but uh, I had a good run with Maverick decks lately. Uh, His hand seems kind of bad, right? It does, but... It's probably a mulligan, yeah, but yeah. it's also really close because you're on the draw. Um, you got basically three looks for a green source, so it's not the worst time. But I think, like in the dark, I would probably mulligan. Okay, yeah. Sand seems better. Yeah, this is much better. Assuming that Caracas goes back. Uh, I think I would rather put back uh, the uh, Savannah. Okay. Because if you're playing against Black Red Reanimator, uh, Caracas is really good. Against TNT, Caracas might do work. And in the worst case, it's just a card with this card instead of Savannah. That makes sense. Are we playing Enchantress? Okay, so <laughs> Yeah, it's either Enchantress or it could be some sort of lands uh, build. Uh, either way, I think I would just, um, with drawing the fetch, just play the uh, fetch and uh, the Mox Diamond discarding forest, probably. Okay. Do we just let them keep the Guile? I think so. Uh, if it's Enchantress, uh, there are so many other more important cards. Uh, and if it slants, um, it would have been better to decay, probably. But uh, even then, if they have exploration, uh, I think we'd rather just hit that. So it's most likely Enchantress. So that's kind of a bummer, because... Uh, I think maybe in step I would uh, decay the guile here. Uh, now this is going to be an adventure for me. So, okay. I guess we have the the diamonds, so the colors aren't going to be as big of a deal, and enchantress yeah. isn't exactly going to be attacking our mana. So, yeah. So right now I would just get by because that fixes your mana the most. Bayou is really the only dual land I know how to fetch anyway, so it works <laughs> out. <laughs> so just hmm. so I would play Knight because it gives us the most options next turn. Okay, it's also probably the more powerful card uh, at just finishing games quickly. Do we want to? Do we want to hide the wasteland from them on the off chance they uh, play an early um, sanctum? Yeah, I think uh, hiding it and doesn't really change anything, but it's basically free to do so. So we might as well just hide it. Um, yes, there is a tabernacle on the sideboard. So, back in the day, um, that's actually kind of annoying because turning that into an elk doesn't give us the knight back. Also, we can't turn enchantments into elks. 
Uh, there are ways. It just requires some more legwork. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's convenient. So I think we're very starting regardless. And then the question is, do we want to play Oko or Decay? And uh, I think maybe I would play Oko here just to... Yeah, we, we could also wasteland their savannah that way too. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever cast Oko. Oh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Maybe not the best deck to play <laughs> Oko again. <laughs> What's the, um, there's a new creature that uh, is really powerful in the shell, right? Oko can actually take care of that. Yeah, it's the uh, Destiny Spinner. Is yeah. that the one? Yeah, that's the name of it. I saw Phil Gallagher messing with it a little bit. Yeah. Like back in the day, I think this matchup was even better because you played um, Liliana over Oko, and I think Liliana is even better than Oko in this matchup because um, you're able to deal with the uh, uh, Enchantresses really easily. So do we just start pressuring with the 3-3? Three, three? Yep. Yeah. Um, Daniel is correct. Golgari Charm is one of the best cards against this deck. So the question was um, if you want to decay the Wild Grove, and I think the answer is no, but it's like if they don't have one drops, it's probably decent, but it, they're so likely to, to just have another one drop. Yeah. Yep. So this will get kind of out of hand really quick. Yeah, when I was updating the list, the old four color loan list I had had the Golgari charm. It was one of the cards that came out for the new list. Yeah. The charm was mainly to combat uh, Twin Nemesis, and the Engineer does that so much better. Engineer is also a good card against Enchantress, it's just not as good because you don't. So the option to deal with both here. So I think there is, uh, at the moment, two like decision trees we could go down. It's uh, either on our turn try to just um, blast zone right away and uh, get rid of uh, some of their uh, mana on the other side. Uh, and the other is to get blast zone and try to take it up once. But we're going to decay the um, O-ring end of turn, regardless. Hmm. 
So Chalice of the Light is kind of bad now for several reasons. Um, one is that they'll always just power through it um, with Enchantress. The other is you need to deal with the, the Destiny Spinner. Um, what we could do is we could play the Chalice for one um, and trade the Chalice with the Destiny Spinner. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, I think that's a pretty good option here. And then um, probably just attack for eight afterwards. Yeah. Chalice on one. Yeah. I think this leaves us in a pretty good uh, spot. Especially since we have the decay in case he has one of the... Um... Lock enchantments. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to cringing at elephant grass, but I guess solitary confinement's the better one in this spot. Yep. Yeah. So that's probably getting tanked on. Knight of Orum. Okay. Is that killing Chalice? Yeah. Is yet to play a land. So I think drawing a land for us would be very good this turn. Because then we could uh, make the mox into a creature and destroy all the one drops before combat. So I still think I like destroying all the one drops with um, fetch the bayou for a um, blast zone and pop the blast zone before combat. Because that takes away the elephant grass and most of his mana next turn. Then we just have to make a food, I think. This feels like a pretty good spot because they didn't play another one last turn, which you think they would have. Yeah, and they also don't have white at the moment. I'm not sure if it was correct. 
they have the Krakens. So like, if they don't have a one and they want to play solitary <coughs> confinement, there's not that much they can do. So solos are fair confinement will obviously be bad. Because that means we need to draw a, a land. I think this is fine for us. Just play the land, so you can play a one, but then both the enchantresses go into jump mode. So he needs. I don't think we, so we just just play the confidant, yeah. right? Yeah, play the confidant, and then he he basically needs re you're in the combat stuff. Yeah, it's a good call. Dark confidant would be much better if you could flash him in. I agree. <laughs> Okay, so it's the cycle. Interesting to have that main deck. So replenish would be uh, one of the ways we might lose, but even then, I don't think that's good enough. Because he doesn't have a solitary confinement. That's. Perfectly fine, because now he basically needs confinement. And we have the decay in hand. One thing I always find interesting in um, a Magic Online is to see what kind of stops people are playing with. Yeah, I just saw that comment, and I was like, no, I do not have a stop for Knight of the Reliquary damage. This is my first ever game with Knight of the Reliquary as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Enchantress. Engineers, I'm assuming. Yep. And I would also put Tala in. Avenues seems kind of well. Do, do you, they don't actually run replenish, do they? Some lists do. It's it's always. I'm guessing he doesn't run it since he's playing uh, Living Wish. Punishing Fire feels pretty bad, right? Yeah, Punishing Fire is one of the easier cuts. And then I think this is a fine cut. What card was that? Uh, Scavenging is okay. Oh, which you mentioned before, and mace is probably also uh, pretty easily cut. The mace of it. Ah, yeah. It's here somewhere. There. <laughs> and then I think I, the last card I would cut is probably life from alone. Makes sense. Uh, if you were playing Ghost Quarter, I think we could 
uh, justify playing both post board, but uh, with only like wastelands, I don't think it's good enough. Like a goblin lackey and Solnox bringing the the play level of leagues into it already in game one. <laughs> 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 so uh the question in the chat is do, what's your opinion on if uh someone doesn't have doesn't actually own a tabernacle do you think a third engineer is a, an okay replacement for it uh like usually when you, you you don't have the tabernacle um i would consider what kind of events i'm going to like if i know the, the meta game because sometimes um a card like Swords of Plowshare is might be better, uh, but I think Plague Engineer is very powerful at the moment, so um, it's probably a fine replacement. Okay. So yeah, it's pretty slow, right? It is slow, but it also has some good cards. Um, I'm inclined to say I would mulligan this because. Uh, you don't have any ways to deal with uh, the card engines. This is similar, but just strictly better because we have a decay. Yeah, so I would keep this and put the uh, chalice back. Yep. Hello, Rockman. Apparently, Luino lost to Destiny Spinner and Limited. Let's just fetch pass here. Yep. Then we hope he's playing Presence next turn so he can just decay Going all the way. They don't have a second land. <laughs> okay. So I would not fetch the enough turn because we yeah, kind of want we the land. For a third land, yeah. So what what's the play that you would make here? So he's got four mana next turn. It's tough. Part of me wants to set up an engine to actually find more lands slash ability to play our spells. Um, so my initial inclination is to want to jam a Sylvan Library or Dark Confidant, but it might be better to just cut them off of something, either a mana or cut them off ones. But they did just triple yeah. spam ones. I think I would play Telus there, uh, but it's really close. Um... And I think if you're not playing Chalice, Sylvan Library is probably the right play because you just see more cards. It makes sense. Here it's the land over the Mox, right? Yeah, because uh, you're going to draw more cards so that Mox might come live later. So you get Scrub. Like Sadly, we don't have a Ghost Core in the deck. Barely uh, two games. The awkward part about the decay is they've shown us fail, so we know yeah. they probably have numerous copies of it now, if not four. We have a little beat with Chalice, though. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way I play against... Uh... Enchantress is always kill the card engine, so I would just decay the uh, Enchantress presence there. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, play the land again, or is it worth playing the mox this time? No, just still just play the land. 
Because I'm guessing the mocks will be live eventually this game. Yeah. On a turn where the turn after we have library or bob down, most likely. Yep. <laughs> yeah, where's our uh, where's our assassin's trophy when you need it? <laughs> yeah, sadly not running either. Okay, so I don't understand this play from our opponent, but that's interesting. I thought I for sure a one drop was coming behind that. Yeah, but his one drops are already uh, uncomfortable because of the destiny spinner. <laughs> Yeah, that is a thing. So, so I would just play both two drops there. So, like, the only card he turns on is uh, Veil of Summer, so maybe has Veil in hand. Find out in a second. Or wants to save it for a decay. Just then his play kind of makes sense, but still seems kind of strange. So I didn't have a one last turn. And I'm guessing he drew that card. Yep. Yeah, that had to be their draw. They had one floating when they passed, so they could have definitely played Enchantress last turn. So we want a Plague Engineer right now. Yeah, nice call. So I think I would take the um, Plague Engineer and the Green Sense in it and put back Oko. And then just play Plague Engineer, attack for two. Just human, right? Yeah. And then just play the wasteland. Uh, the question is, is it we want uh, to get a dry arbor? And I think maybe we do. Um, so that's whether or not we have no interest in the Oko that's chilling on top. Like, I don't think we need the Oko. Uh, I think there's better top decks, like the case would just be better, I think, okay. with Chalice. So, um, also may gives us the option to play two spells next turn, most likely. I guess that didn't have to be for one. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter. Interesting. I thought they would take the plague, plague engineer. That was where I thought they were going. <laughs> so I think we take the knight and uh, land. And... And then we can keep Dried Arbor up for uh, jumping the 
Um, land attack if he wants to uh, activate Destiny Spinner next turn. We want to play the second knight too. Yeah. Is it... I think we want to play the fetch as well. This poor Mox Diamond is getting very sad. We keep passing on opportunities. Yeah, so... everyone says the deck is better when you draw a Mox Diamond. You need to get a White Source, you need to get uh, Savannah. But like. Uh... A lot of the time, you don't uh, even cast the Mox Diamond. <laughs> You're not going to get any argument out of me, Solnox. Yeah, Blast Zone for three was already a decent play. Now it's going to be... Uh... <laughs> oh, look, there it is. Uh, yeah, I think we just keep uh, the Confidant. Go to two? No, uh, I think we just put the land back. Oh, okay. So do we go for that line? Use the Knight to Blast Zone up? Um, most likely. Um... I would just play the confront and attack with the engineer and then pass and see what happens. Uh, with the, the idea of probably getting uh, blast zone end of turn. This is going to be the giant. Okay. That's sort of annoying. Uh, do we actually need the arbor mana? Uh, no. You can probably just sec arbor and uh, get the blast on here. It dies to um, Sanctum, but or we die to Sanctum with this play, but I think it's fine. Okay, so <laughs> we're definitely <laughs> going to put this on three. Uh, just do it now. Yeah.
Are we just dead now? Uh, I think we are. Now we get the second knight back, right? Yeah, but he can just make a white and pump up a land, and then he has two attackers with more than four power. Uh, uh, There's always the make him have it play. So I, I guess we just attack, play the land, and pop the blast zone. Yeah, we do get one blocker back, but we're at four, and he will have two attackers with more than four power. We took Mace out, so that's not an option. I should have done that during their upkeep. I don't know why I didn't, I don't have a stop line. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. Probably doesn't matter. You have to use the power of F6. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the chat might be right. Would, would um have using the knight's tutor ability to clear the two dead cards on top and get something like a maze have been useful there? Yeah, the problem is we don't... Uh... We don't have a mace in the deck anymore. Oh, we took it so out. That's, good. Could, <laughs> That's yeah. a good call. Yeah. So we were basically dead no matter what we do if he just makes a dude. So I still think the um, sideboarding is uh, fine. Uh, we could consider playing Containment Priest, take out the green suns in it, and uh, maybe like an uh, Oko to turn off uh, their green suns in it. I kind of like Oko. Oko was very strong in the first game. Okay. Uh, you could also cut the loam. Yeah, that's fair. Then you have to hit submit again. So this was one of the reasons I'm not too um, positive on playing uh, slow and grindy decks. On, uh... <laughs> eh, we'll get in what we can get in. <laughs> I'm also playing unbelievably slow because I've never tried this strategy and we're talking about basically every decision point. So Yeah. Why do I get to decide what deck you start practicing for a 20k? So are you off painter completely now, or are you just um, playing it here and there? I do still try to play it, but 
I'm seeing I'm seeing much more hate, uh, much more uh, collectors, and uh, I think this hand is fine. I would keep this. Well, I'm glad you're here because I would have shipped this in an instant. <laughs> 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 so, all right, I gotta do it fast. So just Savannah cycles thicket at the end of the turn. Yep. Right. Yeah, so like Collector Roof and uh, Admiral Rods are very annoying when playing Painter. Okay, that's very good for us. So now we play Chalice on one. I just realized we don't have black in our hands, but... So, hopefully it doesn't have Enchantress there. Nice. Nice. Uh, I would just pass there. Yeah, just leave out the Containment Priest. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they try to green sun for Enchantress. Yeah, because we're kind of color screwed, so kind of makes sense or that we would just pass her. Sadly has the other one, but... That's life sometimes. <laughs> I don't think playing another Chalice on one does anything, so I would just play the library and pass. And try to get the other Chalice down for X equals 3. And I'm probably just taking 8 here almost no matter what cards I see of library. Just to get deeper in the, into the deck. So I would start with way standing Savannah and see what happens. I'm guessing he has uh, cast out, yeah. So hopefully this is Chalice, nice. So, play Chalice, like into Chalice to draw cards. So I would play Chalice among them and Talia. Maybe we should have discarded the Caracas to play the Mox, Mox yeah. Diamond. But I don't think it matters. So the press F6 there, because we lose a lot of time if he plays one drops into Chalice. Yeah. So 
hopefully we find another wasteland. Yep. The same is probably true here. I'm paying eight, basically. Well, here I would pay four, so I could put a zero on top. And then just put the most power onto the table as possible. You don't you can't play Dread Arbor. Yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> <laughs> or you can't play it, so it just won't enter. Yeah. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Giant here is going to be rough. Yeah, it's basically game. Why didn't he play the spinner before the? I probably drew it. Never mind. We're dead because we can't draw two answers. These don't do anything, right? Nope. I would just concede there. How many copies of the giant do they run? I'm not sure. Like, maybe three postdoc board. At the maximum. I was just usually one main and one in the board, but. Uh, I would keep this. Lead on Tropical Island. I really thought we would win the last game. Our hand was kind of slow. It was. And, but, uh, you know, we, we played to take, instead of jamming the library, we played to take a line away from them, and they just happened to have the other line, so. Yeah. I don't think what line you play here matters. That guy died. He's no longer going to be playing leagues. He was replaced by four color loam apprentice negator. Taste. So Mox would be pretty nuts right now.
I think I would just Wastelander. go here yep okay Long fetch land. <laughs> well, I guess that works. It does increase our chance of hitting a land next turn. You also play the same island after dacing, so you might not have. Uh, yeah, if they were cut off a of red, that would be nice. Nope. Okay. So I would dredge here. Probably Wasteland before playing Loam, in case he has another days. And that's his only red source. And then, if this resolves. That's a lot of taste. Play the black source, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. The perfect mob base. <laughs> so I think we're dredging again. And then decay before playing life, I think. Oh, decay first? Yeah, so if he has force, he doesn't get like three exo tokens. So you don't want to play around the fourth days? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess it's just one extra token, but... Also, I don't think we're taking the Taiga back. Just uh, flat. Just to keep it. And that's grip. Yeah, at 4-4 four, four range, yeah. Uh, 
And I would fetch for... Wait, what? Just for a 1-1? One, one? Wow. Okay. So the playing the K first was even better than I expected. <laughs> Uh, and I would fetch for uh, the white source uh, on our turn. That's kind of annoying. It is. So do we stop dredging now? Yeah. Because if it had the K, that's so much better. Okay, so... Spam knights or do, do uh, we wasteland them and play a bob? I would wasteland because uh, if you had another red source, you would probably play that over... Makes uh, sense. That one, and uh, this way, light should be out of range. Unless he draws another red source. Yeah, and I'm kind of fine with him drawing a card for and be like this is a fine ex exchange i think yeah i guess the only way this is bad is if um they can't trip into brazen bar or yeah or they have it in hand already i guess but then he would have attacked with the one ones as well yeah you should probably attack with the one ones regardless there. Maybe they have some burn and they're hoping to have us do some damage to ourselves. This is a vapor snag. That would also be. <laughs> yeah, I don't think vapor snag's really that popular anymore. No, Risen Borrower has just taken that spot. Starts. Let's just jam two more knights, I guess. Yep. And then I think we're passing. Uh, we don't want to start pressuring with the one with the other knight. I think. Uh... Just getting mace Wait, is better there. the first. You didn't make a white. Yeah. Tap for black. I knew I had the right mana, just didn't do it right. So you think just leaving them all back is better? Uh, I would attack with a confidant, but not with a knight. Okay. I feel like we kind of have to start racing a little bit with Delver, right? Yeah, my thought is uh, getting mace end of turn. Okay, that works too. Or when he attacks, if he flips. I don't know how to play defensive magic. It's all <laughs> swings all the time. Lodge only blocks the turn before it's about to kill people. Because if this doesn't flip now, we also have the option of getting a blast zone. So 
So now, uh, probably sucking Savannah. Okay. Hey, thanks for the host, Arkin. How did your stream go? It's been a couple weeks since I've played his, uh, is Blue Red Delver adopted Stifle widespread, or is this kind of a unique shell? I haven't seen it before. Um, I think Punishing Fire would be the best flip. Or draw, I guess. Um, let's cycle first. is okay uh so i would play the grow uh fetch blast zone and pop it sacking forest And then swing with two knights. I don't think there's anything we could do there. Yeah. Apparently Arkin is trying to spam things into the chat and a bot is stopping him. <laughs> I think uh, Uro, as we would say in Norway, uh, has a huge potential in Legacy. So, just move this out of the way, I'm assuming. Yeah. Don't think they have submerged main deck. That would surprise me. <laughs> so, Delver. They showed us true name nemesis, so I'm assuming the engineers are good. Yeah. They're, they're pretty good to regard. Yeah, it makes sense. Young Pyromancer and whatnot. Shuts off uh, Dreadhorde, too. Yep. Do you want the extra removal or no? I do. Anything else, or is that pretty much the worst? Tabern I'd bring in tabern Tabernacle as well. Uh, and I think maybe the lifelink makes the dog worth it as well. Okay. So like Tabernacle actually stops. All that good against the version that's as basic heavy as this one looks. Uh, it's. It can be. It's like really good against uh, young pyromancer at times. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and it's uh, also good if they have a uh, hand that's uh, light of mana. Okay, I'm assuming bobs are pretty bad. Uh, I actually think bob is fine, but I usually cut some copies. 
Uh, I think library is usually worse than Bob. Uh, Caracas. The thing is, we're citing in white cards, so okay. I'd be more tempted to cut something. More if if you're cutting land, you could also cut a chalice. Maybe Baron Moore is a little better on the draw. At least. Uh, I think there are several options to play without Tabernacle. Uh, like the most basic way is to just play. Um, Another engineer. Okay. This hand seems incredibly awkward. Yeah, I would keep. <laughs> you would keep? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're running the show, but we can't cast anything in our hand currently besides the chalice. <laughs> we can't even well, cycle this. <laughs> yeah, you, you have a turn to the king. I guess we can play the decay, yeah. <laughs> Assuming we don't get wasteland it. All right, I'm trusting you on this. I would have shipped it. No, this is perfect. No <laughs> mono problems. <laughs> you got to believe in the heart of the cards. So just wanna... They're punished. So I would uh, discard a ticket and uh, play that blast zone chalice. Okay. Do we want to see if they uh, are willing to take the bait and daze a mox diamond? Uh, no, I would. Okay. Like our hand is so awkward. If we, <laughs> or it, it's like it fixes the mana too much. I wouldn't like usually it's super bad to taste a mox. <clears throat> wow, I guess they have a borrower. Yeah, or they could have a, a braid as well. They did shuffle off the ponder, so. But what they don't expect is that if they have. Uh... I prayed they unlock our swords. So you kind of have to punch in fire here. Okay. To play the diamond or no? No, I would just play the seat. The reasoning being if he has uh, arcanists to follow up, it's very wow. awkward to. Not have an answer, even with a chalice in play. Well, we can't play in the night, so I guess we just decay. You don't have to do it now, but... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like giving them a window to have additional mana. But I guess they can't really do anything if we do it during their upkeep, because they can't cantrip. Yeah, we could also probably just take one and maybe... Well, like, if they have another Pyromancer, maybe... We would rather I decay can, the I guess we can wait and see what they do, yeah. This could mess their turn up. If they go out of their way to hit the chalice. If they have an answer. Yeah. What? Resolve. <laughs> I'm 
maybe they have like a Bedlam Reveler for next turn. <laughs> that could make sense, I guess. Nope. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I understand. I think our opponent could have played a tiny bit tighter this match. Yeah, so now I think we just do it, right? Yeah. The chalice trigger resolves. Oh boy. Lesson learned. <laughs> oh my. We're just going to have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to Legacy, I guess. <laughs> Stifle Chalice is. Uh... Maybe our opponent was just being a good sport and they realized they were kind of locked out. Yeah, he could also maybe not have... Uh, like, since he forced Decay the first game, maybe he was kind of new to Legacy and didn't know we had Chalice in our deck. Yeah, I mean, the first game, and... the first game it at least had a function. They at least added one power to their board. I mean, it's pretty bad, but at least, at least it did something. So. Yeah. So we're on the draw. Yeah. Uh, I would probably mulligan this. Yikes. This goes Much over. better. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, Let's see, not, see another not, end. Not listening to you. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Why didn't we keep the first end? <laughs> I believe I believe that was your call. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I think it would be on this as well. <laughs> yeah. Lands and spells. I guess this is a keep at four. Perfect. Yeah. Just so, a little. Bit. So Maze goes back for sure. Saga goes back. Yep. The wasteland goes back. Hopefully it's like fast combo and they kill us on turn one so we can hide our deck. <laughs> it's in fact. In fact. Okay. Well, they don't kill us on turn two. Hand it. Maybe we have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Like Chalice is super good against them. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm assuming I play this, right? Yeah. I would fetch uh, by you and play Chalice. And if that was a pretty long pause. Chalice. So I'm still playing Chalice. Like okay. Chalice gets much worse if you don't play it. So by you. Yep. This just feels like Daze Bait. Hmm. Maybe we're just dead. <laughs> we're, we're way ahead now. If we do not die, I agree we're way ahead. Only down five cards and on board. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're just dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Interesting. It's really like he needs three new rates to kill us. So I, I think I would decay that <laughs> now. I mean, it's kind of weird that they didn't do anything. They might have vines. Yeah, but point, actually, sense. you can just wait because you have Chalice they, and the so vines to... doesn't do anything. That's true. 
So then you can, might consider recycling. But... I think I just take this. Sure. All right, now I'm up for decaying. Hmm. Come on, Bob. You see the the mulligan was correct. Because we're winning and that's how you decide if it's correct or not. Should we just play Ooze here? Yep. Still hold the land to cycle or play it out? I would hold it. I'm really curious. I think we're more li likely to dry land than we are. Yeah, that's probably likely. I'm also curious what the hell's in our opponent's hand because they didn't counter Chalice. They just let us resolve an ooze. So I guess I'm guessing they just have a ton of cantrips. cantrips. Like, maybe, uh, um, maybe, they have maybe a berserk as well. Yeah, they probably have the unblockable one one invisible whatever it's called. Yeah, or they could have like they would have played noble before Glistener Elf, so that's probably not it. Like wines and punished, I guess. So eat the uh, elf, play the ticket. Have you ever, it feels like this is my first time ever running Tranquil Thicket in a deck like this. Have you ever uh, like clicked it thinking it was your land drop for the turn in F6 before that play slash cycle option shows up? No, I haven't. You should eat the other card in case you have the delve card. Yeah, I should have done that. No, I don't think I. Maybe I have done like played it by mistake when I wanted to cycle, but not skip my turn. Yeah, I don't know. So they didn't have the two drop either. And they still don't have counter magic. So their hand is basically just swines and yeah, maybe something cantrips. Random. Maybe something random like a maybe the uh, what's the what's the name of the delp card? Uh, the plus five plus five or plus six plus six card. Uh, yeah, plus six plus become six. Immense, right? Yeah, become immense. They can have that as well. Owls for sure. Engineers. Yeah. I think that's it. Chalice seemed pretty good. <laughs> Chalice is very good in this matchup. So I usually cut a. Uh, I think Knight is probably better than Oko in this match. So I think I would cut at least one Oko. Maybe even two. Yeah, Oko seems pretty decent, right? It's just another removal spell. Turns them into garbage three threes. Yeah, the problem is three mana is a lot to tap out for. Okay. Uh, and maybe even cut a knight. And the ooze. Poor ooze just won the game. Had nothing to do with Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> You could also get a library, I guess, as the last card. A Sylvan library? That seems insane yeah. against Infect. That's just, this has got to be one of the all-time best matchups for Sylvan library, right? 
The thing is, like, you, you just want to survive. Okay, I'll take your word for it. That's not something I would have even looked at. That's also the reason why I want to get to Oka, so you don't have too many, like, slow cards in your hand. Because if, if you survive past turn three or four, you, you're usually winning this matchup. <laughs> Makes sense. I think Chalice is a skillful card, so we skillfully mulled to four and played Chalice. Yeah, like I said, the, mul the first mulligan was correct, because <laughs> <laughs> we knew we'd, we'd mulligan to four and uh, top deck the mox. Exactly. Hand seems decent. Yep. We have to fade the turn two again, but I'm okay with that. Doesn't get much better. Than... It's been a long time since I've seen the card Timber Mare. I used to love that thing in casual formats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen Timber Mare as well. <laughs> Just looked over at the chat, saw Timber Mare. <laughs> Alright, well, they're live for their turn too. It's just Romox and it's. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I would do it on now? our turn, you know? Because. Yeah. Uh... Savannah? Yeah. It's just so much better against Days. Perfect. That's another good one. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Really, so I would really just really don't like Mox Diamond. Print a lot. So I would just wasteland the uh Ink Moth, yeah. On our turn, I think. So we don't run into any wines. We're not gaining any life off food tokens either now. Devastating. It's just too powerful. To be fair, if you want to gain life, we could just make that into an elk though. <laughs> Giving away trade secrets. <laughs> Nobody knows how that works. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, I would just take the turn. It's two cards. Yeah. yeah, I think I just take the turn to play library. Okay. I like, the way the, I like the way this infect opponent plays, never having counter magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We just get to resolve our spells. Magic's so much easier when you get to resolve all your spells. Well, you have counter magic when you can have Nullrod. <laughs> Nullrod is honestly one of my all time favorite cards. I was really sad when they put it on Karn for nothing as an add on. Ooh. Yeah. That's kind of okay. interesting. <laughs> I think I think they usually play like two copies. Makes sense. Oko yeah. makes every deck it's in better. Yep. <laughs> Luckily we have one of the best answers for Oko. So he could have a counter in hand if he had Oko, I guess. Yeah, thinking he could protect it. Yeah. That's a good card. Those are all pretty good cards. So I would take four and put the uh, decay back. So we want to lead on Chalice, see what he does, and then decay Oko. Yep. Yeah. 
I would have even played a Chalice before the Mox. Yeah. It's true. Although the Mox doesn't actually do anything. You have Null Rod out. I don't know why I did that. Oh, we can't play both. So I I'm just actually, I think. I no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we could decay the, the Null Rod, but I don't think we really Yeah, do so you actually have to. Yeah. We have to decay the Oko this turn. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Glad I caught it before we discarded the land. <laughs> I'm glad we caught it before we played the Chalice. <laughs> To be fair, we would just have a 3 3, and I think that's <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> that would have been a bad exchange, so. <laughs> well, we would, we would probably still win, but. <laughs> Look, we're looking to tilt our opponents. This game's not over yet. Making that play definitely would have tilted somebody. So we have another decay on top. I'm assuming we want to keep that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's so hard for, for him to win now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the rare actual two for one with Force of Vigor. It's almost impossible to get <laughs> two for one with Force of Vigor. Uh, Even guess... better to not to discard a land. Yeah. I mean, that's probably the It's like... It's probably the right play for them, to be honest, but it feels good on our end. Yeah, I agree. It's just... Uh, we must have been so happy when we played uh, the Mox. Yes, it's not going to be a 2 for 1. It's going to be a 2 for <laughs> Yeah, you imagine that. If we played the Mox, discarded the more, they force evigored both of our artifacts. <laughs> Oko made the Chalice a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> yeah, that would have been kind of bad. Uh, so... <laughs> I think I'm fine leaving this on the so, table for another turn and playing Chalice. Yeah, Chalice is perfect here. There's an argument for playing them more, but I think yeah, we just that's what I was pass. At too. He only has one card. Most of his top decks are dead. Uh, yeah, I think cycling them more is fine. We're getting underground sea and cycling out of turn. It's a noble effort. <laughs> card's kind of scary, actually. If we drew one or two more times with the library, that card would really be kind of scary. Well, pretty we'd good. still need to have. Well, we need a green source. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's not right. That's not going to work. Nope. Who plays green and white cards in the same deck? I do, all the time. Uh, probably probably get Tiger. Tiger, because if you draw like uh, Grove or you have more red sources available. Yeah, I think Knight of the Royal Query is my favorite magic card. That is a uh, common, uh, common card. People love Knight of the Royal Query. Ah, uh, that enchantress. Either death or ne necrotic use. That enchantress deck staining our run. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's keeping us on pace for the dream, though. Yes, that's true. Somebody needed to to get us there. So we just have to do one one. I think we can do one one from here. Yeah, it's always good to have the loss in the start because then you don't have. Expectations of going 5 0. <laughs> just yeah, it's my first ever run with this deck. I had no expectations of anything. But <laughs> my expectations were you would correct a lot of my bad thoughts. 
Well, uh, so far, I think you've been correcting me. <laughs> Equal amount. Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. I think that's kind of a statement for a really uh, difficult deck to pilot if you have two reasonably uh, veteran, reasonable veterans of the format who are all catching different things and there's so many different options for most turns. This, this seems like a, a deck that would be really hard to get to to playing optimally a high percentage of the time. Yeah, that's why I don't play the deck anymore. It's too hard. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple decks. I'm getting old. You're getting old. You're, you're past your prime. Yeah. What's what's the what's the prime? What's your opinion of prime age for legacy Magic players? I think it comes more down to when do you have time to play. Like right now, I'm doing too many other things. That makes sense. Yeah, you're you're really oh you were you were third when we started. You're now fourth on the leaderboard. Somebody passed you. <laughs> It's like I said, I'm past my prime. Uh, my, <laughs> Just my, keep pulling. My, my my newbie opinion of this hand is that this is unplayable. <laughs> on the draw? On the play, on the play. yeah. yeah. Hey, look, on the it's... draw, we could always try to be lucky. Uh, I might stream Painter when I get another screen. I still haven't got... Like one of my uh, monitors died. <laughs> our opponent wants to know if we're four and zero. In our hearts, we are. <laughs> uh... We're going for the dream, not the. Exactly. Uh, so I'm assuming we. Just... fame and glory. We just spammed our confidant here. I'm assuming is what we do. Yeah! 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 So, discarding the heat. Uh, we have to bottom a card first, though. So yeah, uh, decay or one of the top end. I think I would uh, put Oko on the bottom. Our opponent wants us to concede. Uh, well, he has to earn it. So I'm going for my dream as well. <laughs> yeah, when dreams go against dreams, you have to play out. <laughs> so you said discard the heat or play the heat? Discard the discard heat. Discard the heat. Yeah. Just making sure. Well, he, he didn't actually ask, but... that That's, that's the... Uh, this is the nice way of... Uh, basically leaving it up to your opponent to do the right thing. <laughs> it's as, as close as asking as you come without actually asking. Yes, correct. So I'm assuming this matchup's pretty bad, game one. Uh, it's actually not that bad. No? Seems like it would be pretty uh, bad. There's not a lot of interaction. Like, Talos is insane against them. Now we're probably just dead, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> also, knights is stupidly strong as a creature, so... Yeah, so that reminds me of a question. And also... Um, sorry, um, go ahead and finish your thought first. Yeah, so... Uh, he also plays a lot of creatures that can't really block, so... Uh, Knights has the ability to just take our games. Interesting. Okay. So I'm assuming so the king, the king the, uh, yeah. So what, what were you gonna ask? Oh, um. You said so. Given that this deck has four knights, is uh is Bazooka Bog ever a uh, consideration? Uh, it's probably always a consideration, but I I just think um, you're so um, crammed on uh, 
land slots are already. It's kind of hard to to fit that in, and so it's just a space issue essentially. Yeah, and it's like comes into play tapped lands when you're already playing two. So I would discard a grove and play the catagrops. And also, like, um, it's too slow to beat the graveyard decks usually uh, in game one and close board. You, you're pretty good against graveyard decks with Chalice and Leyline. So, <laughs> triple stitcher supplier. <laughs> I don't think that's what he wanted. So. Yeah, I don't think so either. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. He needs another creature. No, I think they're pretty that's good. A creature. This feels like we are very dead. The bridge makes it a bit scarier. Uh, I think I would block with Dry Darbor here just to get rid of the bridge. This is fine, isn't it? Yeah, the bridges are gone, but they're going to have Hogak back. So I guess it depends on what they can do next turn. Yeah, we have Caracas for Hogak, so Hogak isn't really a problem. Fucking Knight of the Reliquary. <laughs> I'm eventually dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that guy. You have to tap two black creatures, Mr. Opponents. So we kind of want a way to remove the crab. Yeah, so I think I would just kill the crab here. Because I think uh, it's more likely we lose to uh, the crab doing stupid stuff than getting run over otherwise. I think I'm trading Bob for the zombie token. Interesting. Okay, so we take two and Use the bounce the Ogak, I guess. So he's saving for two creatures in the same turn. That's pretty good. That's very good. So play loam first. So do we actually want the third land back? I think so. Okay. Go 
because um, Knight will still be bigger than a 4-4 uh, right now. And then we have the land drop for next turn for free. Uh, probably discarding Dried Arbor and playing Forest and then eating a Windshine. Well, we can sit on it, right? Yeah. That is correct. Is there any value in theoretically attacking there and doing the knight play or the Mizavith play? Uh, I don't think that. What? Attacking me the knight? Then you can't. Oh yeah. Miss, right? Yeah. Yeah, it has to be this next, the following turn. Yeah. Should we do that? I guess yeah. setting up for the following turn. No, I think we're getting groves. I'm just, I'm just playing this super. Yeah. Just clear the board. Who wins the game? What's the plan? Because. Uh, if he start attacking, he has the line of uh, altar, but if he has no board, altar does nothing. So I would return punishing fire with the uh, grove here. I would not rich. Yeah. You have lands. That seems pretty good. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I think we just played Talus for one. And then Knight. And pass. Just eat, eat the wind shrine, fetch another, fetch maze maybe? Yeah, fetch maze. How many creatures do we have in the yard one? Uh, them, they have four. No, awesome. uh, just, the, just the arbor. One, yep. I would just play the drop and attack with everything. Yeah, attack with everything. Poor Bob was left left alone at home. Do we want to untap a knight or just leave the maze back for defense? Uh, we want to untap the knight. So I think it would just hmm. Yeah, just oh, I wanted to play Chalison too, but I'm really Ah, yeah, that should have come down. That's fine.
Just bring in more cards. You want more cards. What else do you want, engineers? Yeah. I know uh, Matthew cuts Chalice, but I kind of like Chalice. Um, but you have to cut something, so maybe he's correct. Yeah, we're on the draw. Chalice is kind of a little slow for their best hands. And we could cut to the life from alone. Probably cut. Hmm. I think I would cut at least some Okos, maybe two. A library. And maybe the blast zone. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Just about everything like, comes back. Yeah, the question is if you want swords to plowshares as well. Uh, I'm keeping this. Perfect. Discard the... Discard Droid Arbor. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether you'd want to keep that around for bridges. I think, like, the main reason to keep it around is, is if you have a knight. to go with it. Probably putting down the the good boy before Oak here. this it's a three three I don't think we have to deal with it this turn do we um I'm kinda of tempted to just play the the dog regardless Seems kind of risky, right? I don't know. What's the what's the worst thing you can do with the altar in play? So if they have three land drops, they could supplier into two drop, get six more cards into their graveyard, and then the mills maybe play Hogak. I mean, they could kind of go nuts, right? The thing is, they can't play Hogak from the, the graveyard. No, they also. Play, yeah, but they could play it from their hand. So they only get one activation from Alter of Hogak, unless they have several Hogaks in hand. Um, oops. All right, I'm probably just thinking too fearfully. Because the downside of playing Oko is, like, if he makes a fairly big board with, like, uh, wind shrines or something like that. Uh, it just dies, and then you, you, you just made the board harder to deal with. If that makes sense. No, yeah, I understand. I just see a card like Altar of Dimension in play, and immediately worry that death is imminent. <laughs> yeah, I always think, what's the worst that could happen? And then usually I die right after. <laughs> <laughs> so, we could either play, so we could either attack play, the yeah we could either play knight or um 
They can't block with old guests. Yeah. So. I'm just getting used to the text on this card. Yeah. Uh, we could get Knight, we could get Ooze, uh, we could just play Oko. Uh, I feel like with until they answer this, if we if we just have a green up with Ooze, it's gonna be really hard for them to win. Yeah, I think that's have, the safest route. We even have the Caracas already in play for Hogak. I mean, I guess they could start. Yeah. They could start hard casting Vengeance next turn, but then we could get Knight and go from there. There's also an argument for just playing Greensons in it and play the tickets without playing the Mox Diamond. Uh, that cuts thinking off an activation, right? It goes off an activation, but it plays better around a card like Force of Figure. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. So how how much, like, how fearful are we that we might need that one activation? Huh, that's a good question. Because I mean, I'm assuming also, it doesn't have... I mean, we could also just Oko the altar, and it's very unlikely they can win from there. Yeah. I just feel like we could save the Oko. I think I think I like just play getting use and playing the ticket. Just save our resources. It also makes the mox like better on a turn where we draw a land that doesn't make green. Like we get that activation back. Yeah, the more I think about it, I think I, I really like your line. Because the way they sequenced Force of Vigor is one of the few cards that actually makes sense to be in their hand. Force of Vigor and Vengevine are the two ones that stand out as cards they could probably have here. Yeah. Because I don't think they have Hogak. That would have come down last turn. Yeah, and I also don't think they have uh, the... Uh... Uh, Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, I think which is the other card right. that kind yeah. kind of punishes us. I guess they wouldn't. I guess Hogak is a possibility in their hand. They wouldn't have played that into an onboard Caracas. Yeah, but Hogak also doesn't really do anything. It just has the options to option to middle them for eight, but then they can't do anything with the graveyard regardless. Uh, yeah, this is game two. Okay. That, that makes sense, I guess. When we untap now, it's really hard for them to. Thing is, I'm not even sure. I think I would attack with both. If he uh... wants to block with Stitcher, that's fine, because we just eat all the cards. I don't think we're playing Oko this turn. I would just pass with three up. Is giving me a warning that the opponent can't block like they want to block. So he should sacrifice that to mill himself. Yep. Okay. Your turn. Now, have you considered that it might have been more valuable to play Oko, given the possibility of the opponents watching? <laughs> they they can't play the Cabal Therapy from the graveyard, so yeah. they would need to have another. They could have one in their hand, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I did did actually think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of this matters at the moment, so I'll just start picking off their creatures. Yep. OK. 
Can we kill them now? Five. Uh, we're one off. No, we don't have the blue. Okay, just attack. I can tell you one thing. I don't think the opponent is getting his 5 0. How do you know I'm not going to concede at the end? <laughs> question. Good question. Could always happen. There's always that. There's always the third door. What's going on, Romario? Hello, Romario. Oh, we lost our dog. Yeah. But you got a forest. Go fast that if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but I would rather have the forest. See? Uh... Uh, do we eat the blood gas in response? So if he has a fetch, he doesn't... Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think that's correct. I also think we and... probably just decay the altar, too. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I would eat the blood cast again with the same logic. Uh, they're not going to allow me to do that. Oh well. They countered it expertly. Eat shame. <laughs> uh, look, the talk of concessions comes up and immediately Lewis appears in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> There are two ways to summon Lewis, either concession talk or tell him he's being shamed on Twitter for something. Are they equally effective or? <laughs> yeah, I think they're both pretty good. Although rumor has it he may make a Twitter account, which I'm looking forward to. He says he's not going to follow magic people, but I'll find him and tag him into every conversation <laughs> I can come up with until all of the magic people follow him anyway. Just spam him one. Yeah, I guess I guess trophy talk would, would also work, but well, we haven't gone there. Actually, no, we did. I mentioned that you were doing very well. Oh, uh, you got passed by JPA. That's that's why you dropped down a spot. You just yeah. five rode a couple minutes ago. So we kind of have to lose the last one. Yeah, so should we just concede on the spot if we know who it is? <laughs> we should probably like try to make it exciting and pretend to play for a win. <laughs> well, look, just keep telling me to keep one land hands or hands where we can't cast any of the cards in our hand, and yeah, we might get there. Just tell you to keep the same hands I've been telling you to keep the entire <laughs> yeah, I've been, of all, league so far. I, of everything that's happened in these games, that's been the thing that surprised me the most about the list is how aggressive um, you are with your keeps. I'm like so used to Turbo Depths is such a heavy mulligan deck. Like you're just looking to abuse the crap out of the London mulligan. Um, so it's very common to go to six and five. And you, know, you keep a lot of hands that... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, yeah. If I looked at them, I'd be like, nope, well, nope, well. But it might be, I mean, you might be right. It's just, it's been surprising. Well, I did, I did mold the, the, the hand you were questioning to keep as well. It's true. So I'm assuming this is just automatic since we're spamming our two powerful two drops. Yeah, this, this looks good. Yeah, lead on Chalice, right? Yeah. In the dark, yeah. And I would have the wasteland in play. Amazing. A five color deck that discards its second mana source. <laughs> 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 it's 
that's not a play that I would have made either. I would have tried to keep both mana sources or colored sources. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Like if we draw a uh, Baronmore and we life from loam, we have the black to cycle. And if you draw land, we can wasteland and play Bob. So like in both cases, you would rather have the wasteland in play. Interesting. So I think I'll just play Bob here. Yeah. So this is likely breach, I'm assuming. Yep. He's counting. Can I kill him this turn? No, I have to pass one more time. <laughs> Can I kill him now? I guess it could be. No, no, no it's definitely not. I was, oh, it's... I was about to say it could have been show and tell with that Valk, but. It could be. I guess it's just. Like storm. some. Yeah. It could still be Breach, or it could be Storm, or it could be a test. I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen a ton of Breach lists, but Basic Swamp would be really weird for most of the popular ones, right? There were some Grixis lists running around in the early days. Like uh, Delver yeah. Breach, I was just... Okay, so it's... Yes. Hopefully he's playing the... Because um... he's played his land, right? So he's playing Polarize, yeah, because then... So we get might get punished for having the Wasteland. But we still have to waste on that walk. Not now we definitely do, yeah. I mean, Tess only runs like 13 or 14 lands tops, so if they have two more mountains, more power to them. Doesn't look like they have any. <laughs> uh, that chalice is amazing. Yep. Yeah. Oko is just coming to play. Got a friend in me, that's not the... <laughs> I think next turn we might actually just decay the path. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. It's either that or uh, spam them with a 3-3 Mox Diamond. Uh, I don't think we want Loam here. No. So take, their, take them off pedal or hit them for five and shave a turn off the clock. I would just hit the pedal. Like, if they can't do anything with two mana this turn, they probably can't do it next turn as well. Uh, I have not seen the Muro list. Udo actually means like, um, just play Talisman 2 or? So, so the issue with that, right, is now that they have the fetch land, they can actually pulverize us, right? 
Yep. So I don't know that that's actually all that good of a play. Uh, let's see. So then we're probably playing knight. Uh, that puts them to nine, and the next turn we can attack for. Uh, four, five, six, seven, That's eight, actually pretty nine, ten. I mean, yeah. so knight's the one turn clock. Oka was also a one turn clock. We hit them for five, five, and punishing fire them. But Oko actually reduces their life total now. That's true. Yeah, that's probably better. I just tapped it like an idiot. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> no, we had to tap it, and then you make yeah. the chalice on, on zero, a three three, and play a new play chalice for, one. for zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's uh, not, that's not what I had in my head though. So. No, that will, that's <laughs> when you said that's what I had in my head. <laughs> I know what I wanted. I know what I was trying to say, but I said it very wrong. Opponents saying they have to top deck. I think we know they need a mountain. <laughs> I kind of figured that. <laughs> I don't think he top decked what he wanted to top deck. All right, so this seems pretty straightforward for Thalia. You bother with, bother with Engineer on the off chance they empty or no? I usually do. Okay. So I guess by the same logic, you bring Tabernacle in. Yeah. Do you bother with the graveyard stuff or no? Like just Echo. <laughs> A little bit of right of flame. Uh, I don't remember how many cards we have to cut. So we're cutting Mace, Punishing Fire. Ooh, that's the wrong one. And then, like, how good is Oko? How good is Decay? Oko seems pretty slow. Decay is sometimes okay. They sometimes expose which cloths talisman or or artifact mana early, but it's not great. Especially considering they have well, they're probably boarding out the veils. Although maybe not because we have chalice. They probably keep them in, in this matchup. Yeah, so it's like either decay and ghost or that's the question here. Apparently, uh, our resident TES expert says it's Burning Ant, not Tess. For whatever that's worth. If that's the case, okay, so it's that, actually good. Yeah, so then, like, decay gets worse if it's not this. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, probably could still live from the loan for the last. That seems fun. Yeah. Seems okay. Yep. Just wasteland them. Yeah, wasteland, and I think, think I play the Chalice. Okay, so I think zero is worth it. I think so. Even if it's burning, you could probably play. Like, Leyland slows them down a lot, and so does. So should tell us to. Yeah, 
Uh, the dog might be better than Oko. I feel like there's a dog on the other side there as well. <laughs> yeah, my one border collie just actually knows the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> He says he wants in on the action. I think they want to go run around outside, actually. Since we're kind of flooded out a little bit here, I'm assuming we want to fetch, dip in a little bit. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably getting scrub land. Your night build is very strict. Tiger. So this is this another fresh or pulverize? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Although, this is a really weird card, right? This list needs surgical, so we could actually see their their list. <laughs> yeah, this stuff. Yeah, that's good. usually the. Yeah, we're getting the main down. reason. I guess they're echoing here. LED echo. Whoa. Interesting. I did, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Huh. Okay. So Mox would be really good. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> so I'm just wasting the island there. Yeah, we're not no! doing that. See what you did. <laughs> you see what you did. <laughs> oh. See, Sometimes the hardest hardest part, part <laughs> is Mox Diamond. Is, isn't that how it goes? I believe the two worst plays we've made this league both revolved around that interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Last time it was uh, it wasn't uh, Chalice; it was Snow Well, yeah, I mean similar Mox Diamond issues. So, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to believe there's some truth to the fact that you really just want a three-two all your leagues. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, I think Wasteland. You think Wasteland's better? I think. Base the volcanic island. Like, yeah, I mean, it's weird because they went way stuff. out of their way to get rid of the ley line, which means they kind of need the graveyard, right? Although, I guess that could They didn't need the graveyard, but, but they also aren't doing anything, so they need. That's true. So if they already had a graveyard, uh, I might be more inclined to to play the Ooze. because then like Cabal Therapy and stuff like that would be more scary. But that's fair.
what? Oh, he's uh, he's a reg, uh, uh, breach. Oh, I've never had the pleasure of playing versus this deck. It all makes sense now. Yikes. So I think that makes Wasteland even more correct. But we might just be dead. That seems likely from this spot. Yep. Well. No, I guess they have to find it. Yeah, they need to. Yeah. Interesting, I went for it. He went for it because we would waste on the tiger, I see. Kind of makes sense. Oh, now they're good. Yep. Uh, I am not a fan of making them go through this. You're fine with conceding from here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think it's worth it. Like, we have no interaction. My, so my dogs are asking to go out um you want to look at the boarding real quick and i'll be right back yeah thanks So, any changes based on uh, knowing what the deck is now? Do we bring Decays back? Yeah, we wanted the case and we want the Dog. Uh, and we could get both Okos and the Plague Engineer. They, they might have. Mm. They might still have uh, Empty. Uh, so maybe we want the Tabernacle still? Um. Otherwise, I would cut that as the last card. It's either that or cut, like, Sylvan Library. If we lose to Goblins, I accept responsibility. Fair enough. If we lose to Goblins, we're on the dream plan anyways. So. Yeah, I mean, they're probably going to kill it. Like, if they did go with, like, a Goblins line, that would be, like, an early turn. So actually being able to resolve a Knight and get an additional turn at Tabernacle, I don't know how likely that is anyway. Oh, you always started Mox on the play. So, I guess we keep this. I guess so. It's got two pieces of disruption, but it's not not great. So, basically, we play Mox Diamond, play Chalice on Zero, play Dry Darber. Or do you want the Chalice for one? Um, that's a good question. So they run Chain of Vapor as one of their, but they already showed, let's see, they already showed the ability to silence out of their, wish silence out of their board. So, I mean, yeah, and they also play. Chain of Vapor and their cantrips, I guess, with Chalice on one um, yeah. versus all of the LED pedal nonsense on zero. Maybe know. it's better to play it on one since we have the playland. Yeah, I think I agree. Discard a grove because we don't really need it. So I guess their hand has to be exactly like the combo plus an answer to ley line. That's not a one answer. So that's asking for a decent amount. Yep. And they only have 20 turns to find it from here. 
Ain't happening. <laughs> well, this is a good start. One lander, huh? So, totally off the top. Or did they just want to see if we have six? I guess they just wanted to see if we have six. That's pretty good. A decent draw. Might be dead though, but... <laughs> That's the spirit. If you're not dead, it's a decent draw. <laughs> <laughs> Pay eight. Pay eight. We'll see. That's pretty good. That's really good. I told you. Pay eight. So, jam dog. Yeah, an attack because we can't keep a black after playing the dog. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. Oh. sorry I, I crushed your dream that misplay on the end there <laughs> yeah we decided we had that we had the three two right in front of us by chalicing on zero and instead we chaliced on one and crushed our own dreams yeah and went for one instead that's stupid game three against enchantress <laughs> yeah like we took a 50 50. I think it's like, it's more likely, it's probably the same amount, actually. But I think it's correct to pass and with the uh, containment priest when we did game three against Central Press. Because if he has the green zone in it, we're just, like, I think we just win on the spot. Oh, the upside is, is definitely much higher with the line we took. It just didn't work out. Um... Yeah, I don't think the line was was wrong or anything like that. It's just unfortunate. But uh, yep. I think Alice is correct that you tried to sabotage us with that last Mox Diamond call off the top. You did, <laughs> you did everything you could. <laughs> yeah. Like, compliment too much. Where's the fun in that? True. Um, he also wants to know what you would cut for a euro if you wanted to jam a euro in Noist. Um... Good question. Like, um, I would maybe consider just cutting red from the back um, and find, like, use one of the punishing fire spots with it. The yeah, the punishing fire, man. maybe it was just the matchup spread we saw, but the punishing fires are actually really good. They were outstanding against Infect and pretty good against Delver too. Yeah. So I don't know. It's only two. It's only two slots. It's just such a powerful effect to give that up. How much? Better, but like, how much better is the mana, really? If you, if you get to flex the red out of the deck. Well, you get uh, another fetch slam probably. Okay. I'm not sure how much better the mana is, but like, Punisher Fire is also like weaker than it's been in a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, like, you met some of the matchup where it. Uh, yeah, it feels like the spread's different. It feels like it's either great, so I guess it felt good to me because we ran into Infect and we ran into Delver. Um, but then I guess if you run into breach decks and other combo, it's kind of miserable and Oko decks. 
Yeah, it's kind of slow against Oko. Like, usually Punishment Prayer has been really good against Planeswalkers, but the Planeswalkers that sees plays now is usually Oko, and it's, like, very slow against Oko. Yeah, I mean, uh, his first plus is essentially erases the first Punishing Fire every turn. So you're looking at, yeah. so you're looking at five mana to actually get anywhere with Punishing Fire. And sometimes you, you face the or part of the Delver deck. Like, they, they just cycle... Uh, and or cantrip and then play Arcanist and sit on counters. Yeah, it makes sense. Arcanist having three toughness is brutal. I think of like having uh, three libraries, uh, at you because it feels like uh, magic is just about uh. Uh, curving out at the moment, and library is so good at curving out. Yeah, I've, I was surprised. I never really liked Sylvan Library before in Dark Depth Shells. Um, I never ran it in Bug um, because I thought it was really only good versus Miracles and a couple of the really slow decks, um, like the sorts of Plowshare decks where you gain 20 life and really leverage it. Um, but I've been really surprised with how good it's been recently. I think the Lone Mulligan made it much better because. Uh, now you usually you're so much more likely to see it in the start of games than you were before because it's usually kind of a bad top deck in the middle of the game yeah uh, but like one of the best cards you can play uh, on turn one and two yeah seven seven card draw effects on the basically the two slot which is essentially the one slot half the time with mox diamond feels really nice so you can reasonably yeah. expect most of your Mox Diamond hands to have either a turn one library or a turn one Bob, or if not, at least a turn one Chalice on one. So yeah. that seems like a That's lot also, of muscle. Also there. part of the reason I I'm, I would consider uh, trying to play the list without red because you get to be more proactive. Um, and I think being proactive is more important in the modern age of Legacy than it used to be. That's fair. So if you cut red, what would the two slots be? One would be Euro, and what would the other slot be? Uh, probably on Plague Engineer, just because then you need something to clear up. Uh, so just a third into the main, or just open up a slot in the sideboard? Probably just a third in the main. Because uh, you would be weaker against like Death and Texas and them, those decks. Postboard, so you would need more slots. So you just get that uh, slot in the main deck. Um, we didn't think the Hound was going to be very good going into uh, this league, but it was really good against Hogak, and then it was good in the last game too. So yeah, I would definitely play Pit if I cut uh, Green Sun. I mean, punishing for you, so. Um, yeah, also, Field of the Dead definitely seems like an insane end game, but I, it didn't feel like there was going to be too many matchups where we were going to get to seven unique lands very often. Yeah, I, th I think it's uh, in the in. Uh, like if if it was maybe like five or six. You would get it almost every game, uh, but uh, that went long. But now you could just like go pretty long, and like if you draw several wastelands, uh, you, you could even have six or seven lands and be stuck on like just four different types. So, yeah, yeah this isn't a, like lands that's in the 30s in the land count, and then on top of that, can play multiple lands a turn with their loam engine. So it's a little bit, this deck's less focused yeah. on that. Somebody mentioned uh, Collector Oof in the chat, too. That seems kind of... Um, I think Oof is secretly the best hate player at the moment in Legacy. Too, but running that card in your five color, four Mox Diamond deck seems kind of risky. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Like, it's probably the best hate player at the moment, but it's also one of the most restricting because almost all legacy decks wants to play artifacts at the moment 
Yeah, makes sense. I mean, it, it's kind of annoying at times, even with Lotus Petals in Depths. It just occasionally comes up. I can't imagine how often it would come up in a five-color deck. Yeah, you, you also go fairly low on life most of the time, so like Oko gaining life is fairly huge in this deck. And uh, oof, cuts off that option so, as well. Yeah, makes sense. Although that didn't come up in any of the matches today, I'm sure it does come up all the time. Yeah. We just like, haven't uh, run into a lot of decks that basically never pressure your life total and infect and breach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But even in some of the slower matchups, it's like in Miracles, uh, or like, I mean, um, not Miracles, but uh, the, um, the Ensnaring Bridge matchups. Like, okay. just drawing extra cards with Silurum Library with the life game is also a way to dig down to answers to to the um, lock pieces. So yeah, That makes perfect sense. I mean, even keep, even just something stupid like keeping yourself out of um, the six damage spell. Yeah. Relevant, yeah. All right, well, this was... Uh, uh, I don't think four Oko's was a problem once, uh, but... Like, usually we were winning every time we drew a ton yeah, of Oko's. Yeah, we discarded one to hand size when we had three in hand at one point, but yeah, we were running away with that game. So Yeah. So, fun. also the Fort Oko could be the... Uh, the uh, Euro. Euro, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Oko was also one of the first cards that it felt like we were boarding out most matches. Yeah. It felt like we were boarding out one or two, so that would make sense. But it also completely dominated the, the one game it came down early. Cards nuts. Yep. Yeah. The card is is probably the best like mid range card because it, it answers so many things while also uh, being a threat. Alright. Well, this was fun. If you're ever up for doing it again, I would definitely run this through a league again. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. The experience as well. So I would definitely be up for doing this again sometime. Sweet. But uh, I think I'm going to go for now. i got to get my dogs all cleaned up. It's been raining here every day, and they're, it's basically a giant mosh pit in the yard of mud. So <laughs> Sounds good. Bring them in, clean them up, feed them. But, uh, but yeah, have a really good time, and uh, yeah. thanks for coming on. Thanks for the games, and thanks for having me on. It was fun. Uh, Take it easy, guys.